Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a RAID system based on a Western digital NAS, how to create a RAID, how to add a shared folder, and how to retrieve data from an inoperable NAS. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. A Network Attached Storage, or NAS for short, is a computer device used as a file server to let various client devices access certain data. Usually, such devices are based on RAID technology which enables them to combine several drives into one big storage space, as well as improve reliability and data security. However, even the most reliable RAID type in the world cannot prevent data loss completely. The chances of hardware and software errors, run configuration, accidental removal of files or disk formatting depend very little on how reliable your RAID setup is, and any of these scenarios may result in losing an entire pool of very important information. Recovering data from an S system involves taking the device apart, connecting the disk directly to another computer, and using specialized data recovery software to retrieve the information. NAS devices usually run on Linux, so their volumes are formatted in Linux-supported file systems such as EXT, XFS, and BetterFS. When choosing a data recovery tool, make sure to check file system support features. In today's video, we will explore a step-by-step -step data recovery process with the server WD share space supporting the installation of four hard disks, model WDA4NC40000. For starters, let's find out how to build a RAID array, for example, a RAID 5 system. Open the management menu for NAS WD share space, then go to Advanced mode, jump to the tab Storage, then click on the tile for Volume and RAID management. By default, after installation of the operating system, it creates a spanned volume, with all the disks connected to the device at the moment. In other words, all available disks are combined into one. To change the RAID level, select the one you prefer. In my case, it is RAID 5. Click Submit to proceed. You see the warning that all data will be erased, and it takes 16 to 17 hours to rebuild the RAID 5 volume. Click OK. The rebuilding process begins. Now that the RAID configuration has been changed successfully, resyncing and formatting is in progress. Here is the RAID 5 volume, consisting of three disks, and the last column displays its status – recovery. All you do now is wait for the process to be over. Then create a shared folder and write your data to the disk. While the RAID system is being rebuilt, Let's enable the FTP network protocol to access the storage. Open the tab Network, jump to Services, and enable FTP by checking the corresponding box. Then click Submit. When the disk array is rebuilt, you will be able to create shared folders. Open Storage. Jump to Folder Shares, click the plus button to add a new folder, give the name for this directory, some description, check Network Services, and click Submit to confirm your choices. Now it's time to configure access to this shared folder. I will enable public access by checking this box and clicking Submit. After that, it becomes accessible, so you can go to the network drive and write your data there. 
high-grain software failures, prank configuration, accidental removal or formatting may cause a major data loss from the disk storage inside your NAS device. In any of these situations, you'll need a reliable tool to get your information back. Headband Rate Recovery is a comprehensive solution for NAS data recovery to help you restore your files in several different scenarios. The program supports the most popular file systems, including those used in NAS devices. It features an automatic advanced scan mechanism that will find the information needed for recovery, such as RAID, first sector number, block size, number, and order of disks. NAS information can be recovered both from single drive solutions and large disk arrays combined into various RAID systems. Bear in mind that before starting data recovery operations, you should prepare some free disk space with a capacity equal to the amount of data you are planning to recover from your NAS. Take the disks out of the NAS device and connect them to a Windows computer. Make sure that all disks are recognized by the Windows Integrated Disk Management utility. Right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. If you are suggested to initialize the disks, don't agree. This can erase the remaining data for good. If you are trying to recover data from a RAID 5 system and the motherboard of the computer where you want to connect the disks doesn't have enough setup ports for all those hard disks, you can connect all but one disk because this RAID type remains operable even if one of the disks is missing. Install and run Headman RAID Recovery. Thanks to its automatic scan feature, the utility will analyze the disks, read their service information, and rebuild the damaged RAID system. The brief RAID information is displayed below. Check if the program has read it correctly. If the properties were detected with errors, you'll have to build the array manually in the RAID constructor. Right-click on the disk and open its properties to see more details. Select the scan type and start the analysis. The program will analyze the disks and display their contents when the operation is complete. As you can see, it has found all the data stored on the disk array and in the case with RAID 5, everything works even though one disk is missing. Select the files you want to recover, click Recovery, select where you want to save them, and click Recovery again. When the recovery process is over, you will find all of the files in the folder you have chosen. This program can also recover data after disk formatting or accidental removal of files. After the scan is over, you will see the deleted files. They are marked with the red cross. To help you search for specific photos, videos, and documents more efficiently, there is a nice preview feature. Select and recover accidentally deleted data.
When scanning arrays that used to have an operating system, the program shows you several disk arrays, a mirror array containing the operating system and a RAID 5 containing the data. If you want to recover information from a system folder, scan the mirror RAID which stores system files. Hetman RAID Recover is very easy to use. It will automatically find the information needed for recovery such as RAID, first sector number, block size, number, and order of disks. When a disk is damaged or service information is erased, the program may have difficulties with rebuilding the RAID automatically. However, you can do it manually with the RAID constructor if you know the properties of this damaged array. Open the RAID constructor and select Manual node. Then fill in all the information you know – the RAID type, block order, and size, add the disks it used to include, use the arrows to set their order, and replace the missing disks with empty drives by clicking the plus button. Usually, if you give correct properties, the newly built RAID system has at least one partition. Expand it to check for the folders that you need. If the folders you are looking for are displayed, then you have built this RAID properly. When all the properties are given, click Add for the RAID system to appear in the Drive Manager. For a cover, scan the array you have just added. Look for the files you need, select and recover them. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.